Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. So today we're going to be seeing another sample exam question. And the question goes as follows. If the polynomial x to the power n minus 2kx plus c equals 0 has a multiple root at x equals alpha, show that alpha equals cn over 2k into n minus 1. Okay, so to start off, let p of x equal the polynomial x to the n minus 2kx plus c. Okay, now, we're told that it has a multiple root at x equals alpha. So, that means p of alpha is equal to 0. Right? So, what's p of alpha? p of alpha is subbing alpha into the equation. And so, we have alpha to the n minus 2k alpha plus c is equal to 0. And let's call this equation 1. Alright, now... We're also told it has a multiple root at x equals alpha. So, we first need to compute the derivative. p dash x is equal to, now the derivative of x to the n, bring down the power and subtract 1 from the power, minus, and this is 2k x to the 0, which is just 1, and derivative of a constant is 0. So this is the derivative of p of x. Now, we can do p dash alpha is equal to 0, since we have a multiple root. So the reason we do this is because we're told that it has a multiple root, and p dash alpha is substituting alpha into this equation, or this polynomial rather. So now we have n alpha to the n minus 1 minus 2k equals 0. Right? Now, we can rearrange this, and we can get alpha to the n minus 1 equals 2k over n. Okay, now let's call that, that right there equation 2. Alright, now, we can substitute this back into, the equa into equation 1. And this is what we get. So, sub 2 into... 1. Now, alpha to the n, we can think of alpha to the n as alpha times alpha to the n minus 1. Right? So alpha to the n will be alpha times alpha to the n minus 1, which is 2k over n. And so here we have alpha times 2k over n minus 2k alpha plus c is equal to 0. Here we can take out a factor of alpha, and we get alpha into 2k over n minus 2k. Now that's equal to minus c, so we just take the c over to the other side. Okay, we can make a common denominator here, and we get alpha into 2k minus 2kn over n. That's equal to minus c. Okay, now we can divide both sides by 2k minus 2kn over n, and we get alpha equals, now minus c, now when we divide by this fraction, it's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, so times n over 2k minus 2k to the n. So this is equal to minus cn over, we can factor out 2k here and get 2k into 1 minus n. Now if we distribute this minus 1 through this bracket here, we get cn over 2k into n minus 1. So alpha equals cn over 2k into n minus 1. We write qed. And that just says that we have completed the proof. So... We've shown this, and that's the end of the question. Okay, thank you.